Bam, we are here. We're on our way to the Top Heat 7, but before we get there to Tahiti, we're actually stopping by the Pac-7 in San Francisco, California, at the home of the University of California, Berkeley. Cal Varsity Rugby has not lost a sevens tournament on the West Coast yet this year. They won West Coast 7 San Luis Obispo. They won West Coast 7 Treasure Island. And now they're trying to do the trifecta here at the Pac-7s Championship. Beautiful Witter Rugby Field. I'm excited for this because I've never been to Witter Rugby Field yet. Baby, the first look at Witter Rugby Field and the beautiful man Anton Malco right here. Look at this. Wow. Awesome. This is my first time here. This is amazing. No. Hey, Alex. I just checked in. I got my little. Hey. Right away, there's a lot of fans here supporting rugby. Obviously, Cal in specific because it's their home field. But uh, Cal's legendary, man. If there's any college that uh, represents rugby in the United States of America, it's California. So you would expect to see a lot more fans there. Check it out. Right, so, but anyway. So. So. The state beat Snapper the first game. And, uh, SCB. Whoever they played, they won. Okay. Teams go on over there and off over here. Alright. And here's your tent village. Guys, gents. He's decked out, man. You gotta look good, and whether you you're a player or a ref. Absolutely, absolutely. It's only one way to do that. Marquise Goodwin. One and only. What a man. What a man. What a hunk. He's single, ladies. Or, I don't even know. He's married, never mind. <laughs> We've got Cal Rugby in the background right now. Cal takes the number one seed coming into the cup semifinals today. They're gonna play Arizona State. Cal Rugby definitely a favorite in that matchup against Arizona State. And to be honest with you, they should roll. I see no reason why Cal doesn't roll in that game. However, UCLA versus Arizona in the other semifinal, that is going to be a battle. I think it's gonna come down to the last second with, man, this is so hard to call. I'll go with the boys from, I just can't. It's gonna come down to the last second. We'll see what happens. Jack Clark, we just talked with him. He's sitting field side checking out the semifinal match, obviously, because he will most likely be playing the winner of it. Real people, but it's really not going to know. I'm not going to get that person. What, if I'm Scott Stewart, I'm encouraged by the fact that no missed tackles so far, but a bobble on the throw in gives the ball right back to the Wildcats, a chance squandered by the Bruins, and a great oh, oh, oh. tackle. Bursing on Fulton once again. Fulton up quickly and into Eric Naposki Abdallah. Now it's Heisterkamp out to the big man, Fabian Lumsden. Rogers finds Scholar back inside ball to Fabian Lumsden, and the big man stretching his leg. One man to beat. He goes to Rogers in the corner. Does he dot it down? A conversation coming. Try awarded, says the referee. Big man. Kean Berry out to Regan. Regan to Bursic. Bursic trying to find space around Heister. Can't nice space gets around him. One man to beat. Comes back inside. It's going to be Bursic for a try for UCLA. Bursic busts through the area. 12 to 7 at the half. Walker trying to find Fulton. Back inside. Inside oh, ball. Oh, oh. And a on the chase. Does he have enough gas? Oh! A try for Fulton. In the rigged, look at Yannick. Nice step to the outside and just a big handoff on the inside. Right. 
big, powerful legs getting over the line. That's what you needed if you were the Bruins to get back in this match. All right, UCLA will get one more <laughs> shot. <laughs> Wildcats losing their mind here at the end of the game. All they need to do is pull down to the ball for. Does he have the juice to beat Ben Scalar in front of him? Great. Keeps possession though, and Regan, zeros on the clock. UCLA needs to score. Key and Barry over the top. Ball dropped and goes backwards. Oh, backwards. Noah Hoffman gets lucky. Naposki Abdallah. Oh, but the oh. referee, I think the assistant referee said it was knocked forward. Oh, there's that's a you talk about a way to end the game. You have the assistant no. referee who gives his help to the referee on field. Well, UCLA can't believe it. They thought the ball had gone backwards, and so did the on-field ref and the assistant referee with no time on the clock, Colin. And that's always a horrible way to have your game end. Leaves a for look here. All right, take a look. Well, it looks like it went backwards, and then it bounced forwards. And as long as that first action goes backwards, I just don't know, Colin. It's a thin margin, razor thin, sometimes in this game of sevens. Well. Arizona ends up with the W and Kate Scott down on the field with Matt Rogers. Yeah, and as Matt just said, went down to the final seconds. This was a back and forth battle. So down to the last. Finish the sentence for me, baby. Let's see if we could uh, get close to the AZ and UCLA teams. Obviously, it's tense right now. and Rosen with Rugby Sevens Magazine. I have Matt Rogers here with the Arizona rugby team. You guys just went a uh, tough match against UCLA in the semifinals here at Witter Rugby Field and at the Pac-7s. Uh, what worked so well in that last match? Um, I think really just sticking to our game plan, um, stretching them wide, just using our pace and really trying to, you know, just attack those edges. Definitely. UCLA, Arizona, you guys, at least in my opinion, are, are right there. You guys are very close when you look at skill-wise. Anyone could win any match. Mm -hmm. um, it came close there at the end with UCLA trying to score until the knock-on happened. What, what, what's going through your mind and how are you orchestrating the guys in that last defensive stop? You know, really just trying to be patient on the, in those last plays and really make them make the mistakes and just be patient and just play our defensive strategy and, and wait for their mistake. There you go, Arizona into the cup finals, most likely with Cal, but we will see how this ASU Cal showdown goes. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Matt. So the question is, was it a knock-on? Let me tell, let me explain that process. So my call was a knock. Uh, verified that twice through the AR. The AR sales a knock. So in this game, you got to trust your team. Um, you can't always get it right or wrong, so the film never lies, so we'll have to see. But 100% uh, I trust my team on that, and I went with the call. Fans a little unhappy with the call. Some fans. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's a process. You know, sometimes you get it right, sometimes you get it wrong. So it's all through confirmation and working as a team of three out here. So um, sometimes I'm 50-50 on the call. I double ahead, make sure I check and verify. And if uh, the team agree with me, then that's what I go with. That's what we just found out right now. Marquise Goodwin said the Pac-12 Network told him not allow games to go to <laughs> overtime because they have only a certain time slot to, fil to film this in. And then they gotta pay extra. So that UCLA call, blame it on the Pac, man. Blame it on the Pac. <laughs> Keanu Andrade, little ball of thunder. And he blazes through one tackle and sets Poon free. And it'll be another try under the sticks for the Cal Bears. Henry Poon. By the inside runner of Poon, just watch this little step in, out, shimmy, footwork for days, and the skills to finish it off. And Poon. Cassano. Cassano dances around the corner. Referee keeps his flag down, and a try scored by Sam Cassano. And look at this guy, Davey Wilson. Where have you been? All over the place. <laughs> so we just got invited to go into the Pac-12 network truck. This is awesome. We're gonna see the real show behind the scenes to the Pac network here filming the Pac Sevens at Witter Rugby Field. Check it out. Oh. 
Hello. Oh, this is for Bob. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Bob? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to Very nice. Thanks for having me. Thanks for letting me in. When you have to ignore all that noise, the hand movements, where he's looking at the trainer. We'll do post game for the remaining four matches. Post game for every match. The drive. And we'll do pre-game for the final. And only one more pre-game. <laughs> uh, negative. Okay, just one total. Yeah. Dang, the real deal set up there in the pack network. You gotta love seeing all that. Seven camera setup. Seven cameras. Uh, people just have no idea when you're watching a TV at home how much is going on in the background to make sure that the picture comes out perfect when you don't see a good picture we have a tendency to get very upset that we're not seeing a clear picture but if you realize how much actually went on in the background you may not think that anymore they're filling in for the cup final cow rugby versus arizona in the cup final Nick, say, I Nick Boyer that. here in the background, up, Dustin? coming out to Witterfield. What are you doing? Just, uh, just supporting the guys? Supporting the boys, yeah. I was in town, so I figured I'd come check it out. You like it. Cow. <laughs> That's an easy question. It's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. <laughs> no <laughs> yes. They're friends again already. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> Finals oh, oh. coming up next. Arizona versus Cal, it goes down again. First time was in San Luis Obispo in the semifinals, and Cal dominated. Second time was in West Coast Sevens Treasure Island, and it went down to the last second. Cal won 17 to 15. Now they will battle it out here in the Pac Sevens Championship. The and I'll be honest right now, I think Cal's gonna win. They're gonna finish 3-0 against Arizona for uh, the West Coast series here for sevens. And it's gonna be Cal. <laughs> that did not make me that hard. <laughs> Back to Dyer. Now Mirisham. Tavener. Andrade still there to help out. They won't need him. The first drive scored by Zach Tavener. Jesuit High School product. The senior from Sacramento dots down and play. So Mirisham in the channel for the tap back from the Arizona Wildcats. And Tavener not going to stop Tavener. He's getting on. Mirishup to Cassano. Uh oh. oh Cassano. Oh, 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 oh. outside of Ben Scalar. And Cassano going to put one down. For what weekend. At least for me, I know coaching staff knows these players a lot better. But guys like Sam Walsh and Sam Gala have stepped up. Elliott Webb somehow finds a handle. Things just seem to be going right for the Cal Bears. Cassano. How does he get How out of that Gary that? Walker tackle? And he's. Gets into touch and just enough. Brought into touch, five meter. Just out. enough from Blue. Matt Rogers. Two. Just looking at the two squats, it just seems like Cal is so fresh. Matt Rogers, a lot of hard minutes, especially playing earlier on. And just Cal Bears, Elliott Webb, the hitch step out to Marcus Shanklin. Shanklin, a good tackle by Fulton on the corner, but not before Elliott Webb is found and Rogers has done everything today at sweeper until now. Can't put down Elliott Webb, another try for the Cal Bears. Three to five, California takes down Arizona in the Pac-7s championship, baby. Magazine, Seven Magazine, big win. Let's go! Young guns, young guns coming out. Winning the first year. Okay, okay. 